Hello, Dr. D. I'm Amanda Finch, and today I'm going to be going over the structures of the brain lab. Uh, here is my work area. And here I have my list of structures. Okay. All right. So first we have the cerebrum. First I have the cerebrum, which is here, and it consists of the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere. And then I have the sulcus, which are these dark grooves, and they separate the gyrus, which are these uh, grayish, pinkish kind of ridges. And then you have the longitudinal fissure, longitudinal cerebral fissure, which separates the two hem hemispheres of the cerebrum. And then we have the brain stem, which is, which is here. And it consists of the midbrain, the pons, and the medulla oblongata. And here is the spinal cord where the medulla oblongata kind of narrows here. The midbrain consists of three parts. You have the cerebral peduncle, which is behind the midbrain, in between the midbrain and the cerebellum here. It's so right back here. And then below that you have the superior colliculus, which is kind of it's hard to see. It's this little knob right here. And below that there's another knob and that's the inferior colliculus. And then there is the cerebellum which is known as a little brain. It's posterior to the cerebrum. And it has a little ridge on the top that's called the vermis. Then you have the meninges, which are the protective layers that uh, surround the brain. This gray outermost layer here is the dura mater. You can see a little bit darker gray, which is the arachnoid matter. And then there's the pia matter, which is very, it's clear and it's directly connected to the central nervous system. And I'm actually not puncturing it, I'm still above it here along the sulcus. On the underside of the brain, you have the pituitary gland. And then here is the optic, I'm sorry, the olfactory bulb right here. And here is the olfactory nerve. Next you have the optic nerve, which is here. And where the two sides, that both the optic nerves connect from each side, that's called the optic chiasm. And then the optic track goes off this way. And then you have the oculomotor nerve. So here is the, op the, the um, optic chiasm, and here is the oculomotor nerve. I can't see the trochlear nerve or the trigeminal nerve or the abducens nerve. Next, in the mid-sagittal section, we have the corpus callosum here, 
which connects the two hemispheres together before I dissected it. Then you have the thalamus and the hypothalamus below it. And then you have the lateral ventricle, small opening here. And then you have the septum pellucidum here. Then you have the choroid plexus, which is here. Then you have the third ventricle, which is separated right here. Then you have the cerebral aqueduct, which connects the third ventricle to the fourth ventricle here. And then you have the arborvitae, which is this tree-like white substance. And lastly, here is the spinal cord. And I dissected the front portion so that you can see the white and gray matter of the brain. And that concludes my lab on the structures of the brain.